Hi all, thanks for watching. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can install Reshade into your State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition. Now, the Reshades only work for the Steam version of State of Decay 2. You can't actually modify the Microsoft version. So, just when you're downloading this, just be aware that if you have the Microsoft version, you can't actually use the Reshade. You do need the Steam version. So what you want to do is go to the link which I'll have under the video and go to the mod page here and this preset is clarity and this helps to bring up the colors and the definition in the game as you can see it doesn't look so flat and kind of this haze it helps to remove some of that haze so that you get a, a much sharper clearer looking picture. And I'll just go through how you would actually install this into your game. So what you're going to need is the two presets. You don't need both presets, although you can put them both in and compare them this way. As they are slightly different. This one here is a bit brighter in the light areas and a bit darker in the darker areas. Where this one here, I have brought the overall light level down a touch to reduce some of the glare and I brought up the shadow levels so that it's not quite as dark. But in both cases it is the HDR that is controlling that setting and you can enable or disable that setting and I'll show you when we get into the game and I show you the setup there. So we'll just go to the description here and first you want to download the newest version of Reshade. So just open that link and download the newest version. In this case it's 4.6.1 and you just want to download that and then go to the mod and download the one or both of the files that you want here. And when you actually click the download, it will tell you that you do need Reshade, and that will just take you to the Reshade page again. Now once you have all three files, which is the Reshade and the files here, the preset, you just want to look on the description, and while you're installing the Reshade, you're going to install these shaders here. Okay, so you're going to select standard shaders, suite effects, and legacy standard effects. So we'll just start running that, and I'll show you how to install the reshade into your game. So just run that, and click here to select a game. And you'll notice that it lists off all your games. It will do a scan. And you just want to go down to the state of decay. Now, you don't want this one you want this one here. State of Decay 2, Win64, Shipping. And just select that and say use the selected application. You're going to click on the Direct 3D 10 1112. And as I said, the standard effects are already checked. You want the Sweet effects and the Legacy effects here. And say OK. Alright, so for the standard effects, if you look on the page here, you want to uncheck all. So we're going to uncheck all these ones. Now, I wouldn't have installed them, but it's already selected. You don't really have an option, so just uncheck them there. Now, as far as here, go to uncheck all. And then select the ones that are listed here on the web page. Fake HDR, Luma Sharpen, and Vibrance. So we'll go back to the list. And Fake HDR, Luma Sharpen, and Vibrance. So we'll say OK here. And just do the exact same thing here, but you're also going to select Clarity. So Clarity, Fake HDR, Luma Sharpen, and Vibrance. 
So let's see, clarity, fake HDR, Luma Sharpen, and Vibrance. So once you've verified those are all checked, just say OK. And it's now installed into your game folder. So you can close that off. If you want to add shaders later, you can rerun the setup and tell it to update it and just add the additional shaders. If you do change the I and I or the preset. So I'll just close that off. So now we've taken care of installing the reshade into our game folder. So you're just going to pull up your Steam, go to your Steam library and the game, right click, select properties, local files, and browse local files. Now once you're here, you want to go to the State of Decay 2 folder inside of the, the State of Decay 2 folder. So go to that and binaries and Win64 and you'll notice the reshade is now installed. So what you want to do is at this point take the two files that you've downloaded or the one if you've only downloaded one of the two and you're going to place those I and I's in the same location. So I'll just put the SO2, SOD2 into the game folder here and the SO2A goes in the same way. Now once you've done that you can close off the folder and you can actually start the game here and I'll show you how to set it up in game. Okay, now that we're in game here, you just want to press the home key, and that will bring this up for you. And we're going to click continue, and the default preset will just select the, let's see if it will give us the other one, yes. You just want to click on here, and you can put in either the SO2 or the SO2A. So D2, sorry. So I'll just select that one and I'll say continue. Now, as you can see, the four here are checked off and just click continue down here. Now, you can at this point, if you want, make alterations to personalize it. And there's the settings there. Otherwise, you just want to go to settings at the top here and you're going to effects toggle key you're going to click on that one now i set mine to scroll lock so just hit the scroll lock then click down here and as you can see now the scroll lock is the toggle key so hit your scroll lock and that should enable and disable the effects and once that's done you can actually close this off by pushing the home key again so here you can see the colors are a bit sharper and you can make out the definition and everything a bit better. And there it is on the standard vanilla. I'll turn that back on. Now I'll just go to the other preset here. So we'll go to home and SO2A. And as you can see, it's closer to the actual light level of the game. This one here does bring up the definition, but as I said, the darks are a bit lighter and the lights are brought down a bit so that you get a closer image to what the light level should be in the game. And it's not so dark, which some people happen to mention with the SO2, or sorry, SOD2. So once that's installed, now if you do find that the settings are a little bit too light or a little bit too much glare or dark, you can turn off the HDR. And as you can see, I'll hit the scroll lock 
and with the HDR off the light level is pretty much the same but you can see that actual definition and sharpness does come up and that's with the version A and I'll just switch over to the SOD2 and if, again if it's got too much glare or it's too dark in the shadows you can turn off the HDR there and that will make a difference in the appearance as you can see it brings up the sharpness takes away the haze and you can really make out the definition a little better here all right now if there are any questions or concerns just let me know in the comment section below on the video otherwise you should be all set your reshade should be working and I've gone through how you can actually alter some of the settings and again as I said if you do want to use a different preset that uses additional shaders just rerun that reshade and it will ask you if you want to update the existing reshade tell it yes and when it lists off those shaders just select the extra ones that you need for another preset all right so hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and as I said, if there are any questions or concerns, just leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.